All right, so we're going to be doing the Necro today. It's the Bone Spear with the new Heart abilities. And uh, it's pretty much the same build I was using uh, preseason. And it just has the new Heart abilities. So we got the Wraithful Heart with the 2.2 uh, second uh, Absorb and 14. Now, you can use the bigger one, but I, I don't. I, I prefer the smaller one because I'm just farming. Uh, so I only do keys from like 50 to 70. We do do 100 keys though, but uh, I would only I would only use the like four second for the higher keys. Uh, so, anyways, um, but yeah, let's just let's just do a run real quick. Uh, this this builds a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's uh, really fast, and uh, I don't know. It's I I don't really see too many necros. So I wanted to do a quick video about it and a lot of people asked me because they saw my hundred video uh, The nightmare hundred we did so I wanted to show this build And yeah, the poison kind of hurts here But yeah, this is the this is the build that uh, I use preseason. It's just with the hearts. It's just uh, a little bit more powerful. I wish it would show the damage from the uh, barber. So many explosions. And while you're running, it's just auto casting uh, tendrils and corpse explosion. And then I have corpse explosion set to cast the shadow damage you can see on the ground. And that helps barber. It like stacks on the barber. And then the other thing you can use uh the curse ability it's up to you if you if you're having mana issues but i'm not having uh essence issues but you can use iron maiden if you want for essence and survivability but uh normally i farm this and since it has a lot of poison damage uh to clear the poison damage you know you just go into blood pool Look at that, just all dead. Like nothing changed. I don't know, travel to Queens then. And she just pops. All right, so let's go over the build real quick. Um, so for right now, for the I was pushing, I was doing like 70 to 100, but uh, just for the video purposes, I just wanted to show a 50 real quick. So we got the bone splinters into accolades, okay, and that's just one point here into each. And then uh, since they nerfed this, obviously you just put one point, sadly, and then one point, one point, and then max bone spear, obviously, and then you want uh, paranormal. Uh, and then three points into huge flesh this this allows you to get more corpses and stuff on the ground um, And then I have the corpse explosion now. This is what I changed because we got the extra points from here uh, Enhanced corpse explosion and then becomes darkness skill So this this pretty much adds like that poison corruption stuff on the ground and while they walk on it it, it, it builds up your barber and uh, it, it just adds damage to that and then the extra points I had here, Blood Mist, Enhanced Blood Mist, and two, Dreadful. And then three in Grim Harvest, three in Fueled by Death. This uh, pretty much gives you Essence for Consuming Corpse in the Ground. And then this one just gives you uh, damage after consuming said corpse. Uh, death Reach, this is for distance enemies, so you know you want to be max range. 
uh, amplify damage uh, to cursed enemies. Uh, this is this is really nice if you're running Iron Maiden uh, or if you're running the gem. But I'm not running Decrepify automatically. Uh, so normally I run Iron Maiden and then I just manually curse and then you get the uh, Amplify Damage effect from that. And then Corpse Tendril, uh, obviously uh, you want Corpse Tendril. And this is being auto cast as well, pretty OP. And then uh, Plague Corpse Tendril, making targets vulnerable. And then down here, Serration, and then to Compound. Uh, and then you want uh, a necklace that has this passive, okay? You want this as high as possible. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second. And then down here, we have three points standalone, three points into Memento, um, and then three points into Inspiring Leader. Uh, Bone Storm, obviously you get all three points there, and then Ossified Essence. And then you come over to your Book of Dead, let's show the Sacrifice. So Skirmishers, uh, so increase crit chance, close that. And uh, so we did Shadow for more Essence. And then here we did the 30% uh, crit damage from the Iron Sacrifice. So let's go over the Paragon board real quick. Uh, Glyph, uh, Sacrificial, uh, and then we just come up here. And then the next board is Bone Graft. So this is the same Necro build that I literally used in my last video for a Necro. Uh, Gravekeeper, and then over here is uh, Sin of Death into Viber. This is your damage, big damage here. And then uh, Essence up here, and that is Bloodbath <coughs> down here. Exploit, and then that will be Flesh Eater. So, uh, I don't know. I opted. So, I changed. Normally, I would get this, but I changed it. I might get this again. I don't know. I've been testing it. The Paragon. I'm still. I'm still finagling the Paragon, trying to get more damage out of it. So, uh, it's a you know still work in progress. Anyways, so that's the setup, and then let's go to the sheet. Uh, Obviously, you need the helmet, uh, helmet OP. Uh, chest piece, you just, you know, uh, quad damage reduction or triple damage reduction with armor is fine. Uh, and then I got disobedience on there. And then edge masters on the gloves, crit chance, and then attack speed, bone spear, and then uh, lucky hit to restore uh, primary resource. Uh, that's the four you want. So those are very nice. Uh, pants. You want uh, three damage reduction and then the total armor. So those are pretty okay. And then I have protector on there, very low roll on protector. And then on my boots, uh, wind striker, it gives me move speed for crit hits. And then you want move speed, tendrils, essence cost reduction. Uh, and then I have NLI. And then my weapon is going to be a two-hander sword. We still get crit damage from the sword, even though it's nerfed. And then I got the distance, uh, intellect, more crit damage, and core. Now, instead of uh, core, I would probably want vulnerable crit damage. Well, actually, crit damage, core, and vulnerable with intellect is what I'd want. So, and then, obviously, you want sp uh, splintering aspect. The higher, the better the roll. They nerf the heck out of it. And then over here, uh, Ring of Seriation. So this one gives you more damage uh, per essence above 50. So this one has the Vicious Heart that gives you 73% uh, damage. Uh, and then non-criticals are 30% less damage. So this one's only, I think this is a low roll Vicious Heart. I think it can go up to 95%. I have to check in my, my bank. Um, but that's the one I have on there. And then the other, the next ring is the exposed flesh ring. That's the one that gives us essence back. And then that one has uh, another vicious heart. So walking near a corpse automatically activates an equipped corpse skill every second, dealing 29% uh, percent reduced damage. So that's not applied for tendrils. Tendrils doesn't seem to be every second. A corpse explosion is. Tendrils seems to be like a little longer. I'm not sure the exact timing, but it's a little longer. Um, but yeah, that's pretty useful. Uh, that way you don't have to click it. Uh, and then grasping vines on the neck uh, as usual. And again, they nerfed it. 
And then this one is going to be the Rachel Hart uh, Barber. This is pretty much every, like, for season, pretty much every build in season, this is the build, and that's going to be Barber. Uh, and that's the one that absorbs damage uh, from 2 seconds to 4 seconds. And it goes up to 15%, 15 uh, 15%, but I, I this necklace isn't good enough to put the 15% on, so I'm waiting to get a better necklace, and then I'll put on the 15% uh, with 4 seconds. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show the necro build real quick, and uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, um, let me know how you guys are liking the season. And uh, I'm working on a sork right now. Actually, let's go ahead and. Uh, oh, well, apparently we're still in combat somehow. Somehow we're still in combat. Probably that lightning. But yeah, the necro, I like the necro a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to delete, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't delete these. I want to use these for testing, uh, for, for future, like, nerfs and patches and stuff for the other classes. So I don't really want to get rid of those. So I have a couple of slots. I think I'm going to make a druid and a barb. And yeah, I don't think I'm making a rogue. So just Druid and Barb, and then I have the Necro, and I'm doing the Sork right now. But yeah, so that's pretty much the video on the Necro. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them below as usual. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.